Hey, I'm Matt. And I'm Dustin. We're local Historia. Today we're exploring Hidden Happy Valley and looking at the historic Old Mud Church. So Tess, why is Phillipsburg such a great place to work or visit? Phillipsburg has a little bit of everything. We have a super rich history and many of our beautiful old houses and buildings are still standing for us to enjoy. We also have a charming little downtown, the jewel of which is our 100 year old Roland Theater, which is majestic and it's a miracle that it still survives because not a lot of those theaters made it. Our public places and parks are meticulously maintained by our dedicated borough crew. And we're also surrounded by nature. Why don't you show us the church? All right, let's check it out. So why is the Mud Church a great place to start for understanding Phillipsburg's history? The Mud Church is one of Phillipsburg's original structures. And besides having been around for a long time, it's been here basically throughout all of Phillipsburg's existence. It also served the entire community. So it was built to be a church, a meeting house, and a schoolhouse. So you can imagine how many significant events took place here. Weddings, funerals, town meetings, baptisms, all those sorts of things. It was also ultimately saved by the people. So you can imagine the thousands of travelers who came through this busy thoroughfare and saw and perhaps stopped in the heart of the church. And this is still a super busy road. By now, millions of people have passed by the church and seen it. Yeah, Presque Isle Street is named after Presque Isle in, in Erie. Um, so yeah, I can imagine tons of traffic right through here. That's a, a part of the turnpike system. So the actual name of the church is the Union Church in Bur Burial Ground. Uh, what's the meaning of it? The church was built to be just that, it was meant to be unifying. So it was meant to be a welcoming place for everybody to worship regardless of their denomination. So they would take turns on Sundays, taking turns in worship. Who is Harvey Phillips? The Phillipses were a family from England. They, they, they had seven sons and a few of them came to America and set up an import-export business in Philadelphia. They acquired huge tracts of land up in rural Pennsylvania where we are now in the Alleghenies. And in 1797, Henry Phillips set about uh, laying out a town here. He died young, he was only 33, and he was succeeded by his brother John. John also died young, as people did back then. <laughs> and um, meanwhile, in England, the youngest brother, Hardman, was getting up to some mischief. And he spent 35 years here building up Phillipsburg, establishing businesses here. He built a house here and uh, he continued the name of Phillipsburg, really threw himself into the work that he was doing. And the screw factory, it was one of the first in Pennsylvania, um, in, in the country for that matter. Um, but it did burn down. They did manage to see the bell from it and that is the bell that we have to this day that still rings and it was salvaged and put here. So I'd love to hear the bell come to us. Definitely, let's go. Do the honors. All right, all right. Good job. There's a hole. I got it. Tess, can you tell me your favorite thing about the church? I love coming to the Mud Church because I always feel such a sense of peace here. As you might have noticed, it's super busy outside. The modern world is just bustling by. You come in here, it's quiet, and uh, I feel like I'm sitting among friends. I love to imagine the conversations that went on in here, the town meetings they had, the people who came here, what the weddings were like, the, the classes were like the school children took. Mm -hmm. There's so much, um, you know, can you imagine the things that this church saw and what took place here, and the hard work and dedication it took to build this place. It's just, it's an inspiring place, it's magical. It also has a really wonderful smell, I think. <laughs> it's this old kind of comforting smell that's hard to describe, so you have to come from my church to experience it. <laughs> Lots of people ask about these doors that are on the pew. 
We recently had a group of eighth graders come here and we asked them what they thought they were. And one student said it's to keep people from running away, I guess during long sermons or something. <laughs> Another person thought it was to keep babies from falling out, which I think are all great answers, but it was actually to keep the heat in, because as you can imagine, yeah. it got pretty drafty and cold in here during the winter months. Yeah. If you notice the top quadrifoils of the window, that was actually um, hand carved by a man who donated his time and talent rather than money. Not a lot of people had extra money to spare back then, but what he donated was carving these, and he did it with a pen knife by hand. So you think about all these little details and the people who did this, and it really makes the space come alive. Um, these boxes are pretty curious. Um, they are said to have been used for people who were visiting. I don't know how I would have felt if I were new to town or passing through and they put me on display at church. There would be no nodding off while the preacher was talking or anything like that, but I guess it might have been a position of honor if you got to sit up here while you came to town. So can you tell us about this? Sure, this is a copy of the original, subs the original subscription for the Union Church. Whenever the townsfolk decided they needed this structure, they took out the subscription and they had people pledge a certain amount of money. And you can see there would be people's names and then the amount, $10, $5, whatever they could give to uh, get this church built. You can see Hardin Phillips' name on here. He's actually on here twice. I guess they decided they needed a little bit more money, and so he, he stepped up there. Um, but it's a fascinating document. We're so lucky to have it preserved and... It really shows the community spirit that got this church built. Yeah. So there's, that's cool too. It has the whole purpose of it right there. Right. right? Mm -hmm. um, double purpose of a school place and of worship to the free and moral and regular preaching of the gospel. <laughs> so the burial ground actually was here before the church. And it just seems like such a peaceful place one of my favorite spots in Pillsburg, so can you show us? Yeah, let's go. All right, so the church is the Union Church, but it's colloquially known as the Blood Church. Why is that? That's a good question. So we mentioned before that the church was originally made of logs, and they took that second subscription in 1841 to make some repairs and improve the church, and at that time they covered it in rough plaster, which gives it this look of kind of mud, and it earned its nickname. So, whenever the town was laid out, the surveyor, Charles Trezzoni, actually failed to include a burial ground. So, whenever George and Rosalie's infant daughter, Sally, died around 1803 or 1804, they were one of the original 12 settlers, um, they buried her here in this lot. Eventually, Harvin Phillips realized, obviously, there was a need for a community burial ground. So, he traded the Schultzes, this lot, for an, a lot that he gave them on the closer to the outskirts of town, and this became the community burial ground. So you said some of the earliest uh, graves were in the shade of the Founder's Oak. Can you tell us about the Founder's Oak? Yes, the Founder's Oak is this majestic tree we have here. We love this tree. It's, we've had tests done on it to figure out the age, and it appears to be around 400 years old. I like to think of it as keeping watch over the mud church and all of these people. Um, we talked about what the mud church has seen in its 200 year life. Imagine what this tree has seen in 400 years. It was yeah. here, you know, whenever the pilgrims first came to America. So it is a beautiful tree. We do our best to take care of it so that it will be around for another 400 years. A group of concerned citizens actually went door to door to every house in Phillipsburg and asked for a single dollar. They ended up raising beyond what their goal was and they were able to preserve and save this church that we're sitting in front of and celebrating today. So this year we're actually celebrating the Mud Church's 200th birthday. We're also going to have a little party for the Founders Oak. We're not sure what its birthday is, but it deserves a party. It's a sacred space that deserves to be preserved. Thanks so much, Tess, for all your efforts in preserving local history and for this experience today at really the heart and soul of Phillipsburg's history. Uh, so thanks again. Of course. It was my pleasure. Thank you for coming. Thank you for all of your great, great questions, for learning today, for spreading the word about our beautiful mud church. And I will see you all at our 200th celebration this fall. Sounds good. Take care.
Thank you. Hidden Happy Valley is a series highlighting lesser known places and interesting spots in Center County. It is brought to you by the Center County Library and Historical Museum, the Schlow Center Region Library, and the Happy Valley Adventure Bureau.